Racing games are fun. They can absorb you into any kind of scenario you can imagine and deliver a truly amazing gaming experience. However, the offer is so abundant that it's not always easy to decide which game to play to get into virtual racing. We have picked out the best titles for you, whether you are looking for casual fun, a simulation or anything in between. We start this list with some arcade fun. Games that make it easy to find your way and are easy to pick up with a gamepad, but also can be played with a steering wheel. If you are gaming on PC or an Xbox console, there is no getting around Forza Horizon 4. This gem of a video game takes you to the UK and offers a vast and open world that is filled with tons of fun stuff to do. More than 400 different cars are waiting for you to be unlocked and driven through the changing seasons that have an impact on how you play the game. Forza is especially good for racing beginners as it's easy to pick up and start playing. Countless driving aids can smooth the transition of starting to race towards turning the aids off and getting a semi-realistic driving feeling that can be mastered on a gamepad as well as with a steering wheel. Horizon 4 makes almost no mistakes and does everything that its predecessors did well even better. It's a blast for offline single players as well as for gamers who want to race together with their friends. And possibly the best part of all is that if you own a subscription to the Xbox Game Pass, which is also available on PC, you can play it for free. If you don't have an Xbox, but a PlayStation, and still want a lot of fun, GT Sports might be the title for you. Gran Turismo is a big name in the racing game industry and possibly one of the most beloved series ever created, and rightly so. Gran Turismo has been enchanting PlayStation owners since 1997, and the fan base can't wait for the PS5 release of GT7 later this year. If you don't want to miss our review when it hits the shelves, consider subscribing. But back to GT Sports. Comparable to Horizon 4, GT Sports can be a great option for both beginners and advanced drivers. With the right driving aids, it's perfectly playable on controller, but as you get faster and more invested into racing, this title can be perfect to pair with a steering wheel and pedal set. This becomes especially clear if you pay attention to the focus on multiplayer races within GT Sports. The online servers are still filled with plenty of drivers to compete against and the graphics remain top notch, especially on a 4K TV. Yes, GT Sports is not a full fleshed out Gran Turismo title, but can be a good starting point for you to get into racing on your PlayStation 4. If you're an Xbox or PC user, Forza 7 might be a good comparable option. If you are a fan of the Formula 1 circus, F1 2020 might just be the perfect mixture of arcade and simulation for you. With its authentic roster of cars, drivers and racetracks, F1 2020 impresses with something familiar, which can make it easier to get started with racing. Yes, the game from Codemasters is not a pinpoint simulation of the fastest racing cars out there, but delivers a fun experience that still demands a lot from its players. This game is the embodiment of the saying, easy to learn, hard to master. Just pick up a controller and start racing against the AI in an overall well-crafted career mode with many manager-like aspects to it. And then get yourself to a level where you not only manage accelerator, brakes and shifting, but also DRS, ERS and your fuel mix. Experienced F1 players need many buttons on their steering wheels to get a grip on all those inputs they have to manage. While racing with immense speed over the most popular racetracks out there, this game is available on any platform and might just be the perfect starting point for your virtual racing career. If Formula One isn't really your cup of tea and you'd rather race GT cars, Le Mans prototypes, or even go on cruises with vintage cars, Project Cars 2 might just be the game for you. Yes, Slightly Mad Studios already pushed out their third installment of the series, but it disappointed on pretty much every level. If you're curious about how the game has developed, check out our video where we retest PC3 half a year after its initial release. But back to why Project Cars 2 might be the right racing game to begin with. If you're searching for a light-hearted racing simulation, 
that offers you the possibility to play with a gamepad with VR glasses, a steering wheel, and in online multiplayer, then look no further. It features tons of different cars from all areas, dynamic weather effects, a day and night cycle, and a fun career mode to get you right into the action. The online community is still going strong as of today, and a loyal fan base is keeping the game alive. Hardcore sim racing fans claim that Project Cars 2 is not exactly what you call realistic, but it is fun and introduces you to everything that will await you if you're thinking about taking the plunge into sim racing later on. It's available on Xbox One, PS4 and PC and won't cost you a fortune as it can now be bought for less than 10 euros. If you're watching this video with the intention of finding the perfect starting point into simulation type games, consider taking a look at Assetto Corsa. Of course, there are more recent titles in this genre than this racing oldie from 2014, but Assetto Corsa can still keep up with the newer titles out there. First of all, sim racing is a special niche not every player out there can enjoy, but if you want to know what all the fuss is about, AC is probably the easiest and safest way to dip your big toe into the water. AC offers hundreds of cars, loads of tracks, and its force feedback is still one of the best on the market. In addition to that, the game is basically open source at this point, with thousands of mods adding valuable content to the game for free. This helps with the clunky old menus, adds better graphics and weather effects, brings new cars into play, and thousands of racetracks from all over the world. If you can drive it in real life, there is probably an Assetto Corsa mod for it. But even without all the mods, Assetto Corsa is still a gem that every racing enthusiast should try. Even after seven years, the public online lobbies are still full of players and better organized web platforms like simracing.gp and simracing system make Assetto Corsa a place where people still meet for great online races. Of course, there are many other great games out there like WRC9 and Dirt Rally 2.0 for rally fans, or MotoGP20 and Ride 4 if you're more into bikes. Which games do you think are the best to get into racing? Let us know in the comments down below. If you liked this content, check out our video about the fastest mod cars in Assetto Corsa, which was really fun to record as one open wheel was equipped with a jet engine. But anyhow, for more esports racing content in general, visit overtake.gg or our YouTube and other social channels. Thanks for having me, and until next time, cheers!